said sort of that we could take that whole area and live in those nuclear weapons creating the ground. So the Prime Minister is the President of the European Community Council. We've had a very valuable meeting, covered a great range of issues, found ourselves in great agreement with regard to the double track of the intermediate nuclear forces. We had a great discussion, found great agreement and support here with regard to our position in El Salvador and a recognition of what is at stake there. And a very fruitful discussion of the economy, economic trade, and what we can do to be mutually helpful. So, Mr. Prime Minister, we're very proud and happy to have had you here, and look forward to further meetings. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, first of all, I would like to repeat my thanks to the President for his generous hospitality. It is indeed for the Belgian delegation an honor and a particular pleasure to be here in Washington. Secondly, I can fully subscribe to the statement that the President has just made. In my capacity of Prime Minister of Belgium and as Chairman of the European Council, I had the opportunity to explain to our American friends both the Belgian and the European positions. The discussion with the President and his advisors, all they will be pursued right away with the Secretary of State, have proved very useful in fostering mutual understanding. The Atlantic Alliance... The Western economies are going through very difficult times and all solidarity is being put to a test. I have always been convinced that the partnership between Europe and the United States not only can meet these challenges, but can also come out stronger after open and frank exchange of views. I am today comforted in that opinion, and I am sure that the will exists on both sides of the Atlantic to pull our efforts to cope with the difficult situation we are facing. Our two countries have the same goals, peace, prosperity, and the democratic ideals of individual freedom. The differences when they occur are more on tactics than of substance. I am look looking forward in pursuing this conversation along with other allies when we will meet again at the next NATO summit in June. I thank you. The press conference tomorrow will be indoors.